how to use media.io. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use media.io. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to media.io. Or you can simply enter on Google media.io and just click the first link that come up in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And from this platform, you will see what they offer or the services that they provide in order to use their platform. And it shows here some of the features such as video enhancer, watermark remover, video background remover, video editor, video effect, auto color, video converter, and video compressor, in which those are some of the features that they offer under the video category. While under the photo category, they also provide to enhance your photo using their features such as gender swap filter, sky replacement, photo filter, beard generator, glasses generator, age filter, and head swap. On the other hand, under the audio category, you can customize your audio with their features such as audio scaling, audio speed changer, instrument splitter, voice beautification, volume compressor, and auto expander. So those are basically the features that they offer under the video category, the audio, and the photo category. Well, if you scroll down below, you will see other details about the services that they offer, including massive free tools, leading AI tech, rapid iteration, and it is easy to use, in which it also says here that you can achieve more with less effort. You can use this platform for your personal, promotional, and educational purposes. And aside from that, if you scroll down below, you will see that it says here that millions of people like media.io, in which it has a 50 million plus users around the world. And now that we know about the services that this platform offer, the next thing that we need to do is to access its editing tools. And by clicking the product option on the top panel, it reveals the video tools, audio, and photo tools. While by clicking the solution option, it will show you the purpose of media.io, such as for freelancing, social media, for design, and for educational purposes. You can also find the tips and tricks under the resources option and the contact support if you have any concern about this platform. And aside from that, by clicking the pricing options on the top panel, it will show you some of the offering membership upgrade with its corresponding details and prices. Such as if you want to have image enhancer, you can pay 9.99 US dollar per month. Well, if you want to have any eraser, you can access that amounting to 34.99 US dollar. And below, you will see the other details that they offer with its corresponding prices, which you can pay using your Visa, PayPal, 7-Eleven, MasterCard, American Express, and any other payment methods. Now going back to the homepage of Media.io, you can now start editing by clicking the product option and proceed by clicking video editor. And from here, it will give you the three options such as to create a video today, to record video now, to generate subtitles now. And in those options, kindly proceed by clicking create your video today. And after that, you will be directed in this workspace. Proceed by clicking create a video. But before that, you will see some of the templates that they offer below if you don't want to start your video from scratch. While under the My Files option, you can upload your own files or import from your computer media files that you're going to edit in here. But in this video, I'm going to choose to create a video from scratch. So kindly click the option that says Create a Video, and you will be directed in here. And as you can see, on the left side panel, you will see the editing tools in which you can upload the media files from your computer or local drive and upload files from link by clicking this button that says Upload Media. And after uploading a files, it will appear in this timeline. And while we're waiting to upload these media files in our timeline, if you are first time here, it will show you the basic guide such as to preview your video, to export your video, and other basic features that this platform offer. And now that we successfully upload our media files, you can just simply drag it into our timeline. And it will enable you to play 
the video that you just upload. In which you can pause and play the video by clicking this button here. Now in the left side panel, it will show you some of the editing tools such as to upload media such as video, audio, and images, or even to record a video or text to speech. And aside from that, the video that you just upload in your timeline can also edit its size by simply dragging it on its corner. So just click on its corner and drag it, in which you can resize its ratio. You can also customize its width or height. And aside from those options, in editing the video in your timeline, you can also find the other editing tools on its timeline such as the undo button, the redo, the split option in which you can divide this whole video into different parts. You also have the freeze option in which you can freeze the duration of this video. And lastly, the remove option which is to delete or remove the entire video or parts of it. While the other editing tools and options on the left side panel is the templates option in which you can add a template that is free in your timeline in which there's a variety of templates that you can choose for example this one by clicking on it it will show you the size ratio of this template you can either add to your timeline or create new project or alternatively you can simply drag it down to your timeline in which upon doing so it will show you its content such as the audio video and other elements that this template contain but if you don't want this in your timeline kindly click the undo button while the other editing tools is the text in which you can add your video a regular text field text a text with its social media platform logo and other title text with its corresponding design or you can simply drag it into your timeline in order to add this text and after adding text into your timeline you can now start editing the context that you want. So I'm going to enter WebWiz. And after that, it will show you the context that you customize. And you can also remove it if you don't want the text to be part of your video. While under the subtitles option, it will show you some features including auto subtitles, manual subtitles, and upload a subtitle. Now in addition, you can also explore the element category in which it will show you some of the elements that you can add to your video, including line, emoji, stickers, shapes, and many more. Well, for the other option is the transition option, in which you have the two options such as none or face, which is the only transition that are available in this membership. Aside from that, under the music option, you can add a background music to your timeline to make it more vibrant and fun to watch. Aside from that, you can also add a sound effect that is free in this platform. And if you are now done editing, you can now proceed by clicking the export button, which is located on the top right corner. And it will show you the format of your video, its resolution, in which you can customize by clicking on it and selecting the resolution that you prefer. But this video that you're going to export includes a watermark, since you need to upgrade your account in this platform in order to remove the watermark. And we can now proceed by clicking the continue button. That is just how to use media.io. Thank you.